Oh boy, this is probably the most insane glitch I have ever seen in TDS. You know, for the most part, when there's any glitches or bugs that benefit you in the game, they're just most likely going to help you with the game in itself. Like, you will get more money, like with the cash wave, or the game will generally be just easy, like executioner bug, military base glitch, whatever. Any other game breaking bug just made game a little bit easier and didn't break the game that much. However, this glitch could completely game break TDS. And this glitch is no longer working. But I am going to show you what this glitch did. Because you could technically get infinite money and infinite gems with it. And I'm not even joking. It, inv <clears throat> it all involves those little mutations. As you can see, each mutation just adds a little bit of more rewards. Like Pizza Party adding plus 10%, Mutation adding plus 20% rewards. I think HP Locked also gives you something. So this actually might be like 50% more. I'm not entirely sure. But the point is, those mutations just give you more rewards. Now, this is where this glitch comes into place. What you have to do is basically just lose the game. And as I said, this glitch is fixed. Do not, do not consider trying to do it because it's probably not going to work. And even by some miracle, if this glitch starts to work again, I would not recommend using it. For one simple reason. Um, the devs can see your coins, I'm pretty sure. So if they see you having like, out, out of nowhere, 1 million coins, yeah, they will probably ban you. So yeah, the enemies are going, going through the base, and this is where we die. We get 15 XP and 42 coins, which, you know, is not a lot. This is a very tiny amount. However, this is where the glitch comes into play. If you click restart map, those rewards, those mutations get, get reset. They basically refresh. But not only did the game refresh, restart it, so did the mutations. What the glitch used to do was restart the mutations, but it did not reset the rewards. So what it did is add another 50% to the rewards each time we reset. Each time we reset, you got 50% more coins. And it's not it was not compounding, it was additive. So it wasn't 50% times 50% more times 50% more. No, it was just plus 50%, plus 50%. So, if you reset 100 times, if you died 100 times with this glitch, you could be sitting around at 5,000% more rewards from the game, which is absolutely insane, because at a certain point, you'd be getting thousands of coins in seconds, and you could get everything in the game. And not only did you get a lot of coins that also applied to EXP. So if you really wanted to abuse this glitch, which I'm pretty sure is bannable, uh, you could get like level 10,000. <laughs> and you know, and when I say that you could do it infinite number of times, I mean it. Because there was never a limit to this glitch. Not even in hardcore, because I'm pretty sure hardcore maps, some of them use those mutations, like HP Locked. I'm pretty sure HP Locked gives you like 20% more rewards. So, uh, yeah, each time we set at hardcore, that was 20% more rewards. So, so if you died in hardcore 100 times, uh, if you won, you would get 2000% more. Which you could probably get Accelerator and Engineer in one hardcore triumph. Now, dying 100 times would take a long time. But at a certain point, you would be getting more coins from dying than, than actually playing the game. So it, was, it would be worth it nevertheless. And this was game breaking. So yeah, we now get the same rewards. It has been fixed. It's no longer the same. Anyways, that's it. See ya.